Hello there, and welcome to uh, the first in the video series looking at the 2016 um, Renew curriculum. Um, in this video, we're going to be looking at the arithmetic sample questions. Um, I'll be looking through the questions with you. I'll be um, talking about um, what the questions ask you to do. Uh, we'll be thinking about the mark scheme as well. And then to finally finish off, um, for each of the questions, I'll be modelling how to solve them uh, and what you'll, the examiners will be looking for as you answer the questions. So let's have a look at question number one. So in paper one, uh, there are going to be a number of arithmetic questions. Now, most of these questions are only worth one mark. So the examiners will just be looking for you to get the correct answer. So I suggest uh, the best thing you can do here is just to use um, an arithmetic um, method which you know works really well. So for example, you could split up these two numbers into their hundreds, tens and units, and then you could add those uh, sequentially. So I'll just quickly model that one. Um, it's a skill which you're learning and using most of the time anyway. Uh, but sometimes it's helpful just to have it all um, shown in front of you. Uh, another way you could do this is you could uh, break the number um, up using a number line. Um, and then you could add on the hundreds, tens and units. Entirely up to you. Uh, my personal preference is to do it this way. So we add the 6 and 5 to make 11, um, which is the same as these of 1 unit. And we can put the extra 10 on top of the tens there. And then we add our, our just realised I made a bit of a mistake there, that should actually be 50. Uh, add our 50 and 50, that gives 100, 110, which gives us 10 in the tens, and an extra 100 there. And then we add those together, we're going to get 600 and 500 is 1,100. Add the other 100, 1,200. 1, so it gives us our 200 there, and that gives us our 1,000 left over afterwards. And when we combine those together, we get 1,200. And 11. So what they'll be looking for is the answer just looking like that in the box there. Okay, so that's our first um, nice warm-up question there. So look at question number two. So in this question, um, they'll be testing you thinking about um, whether you can work out equivalent fractions. So whenever you see a question like this, the first thing you need to notice is you've got your units and then you've got your fractions. Now luckily these two fractions have the same denominator. Um, so the first we can do is one, uh, 1 and 1 seventh is another way of saying, well, 1 is the equivalent of saying 7 sevenths, which if we add that to the 1 seventh will give us 8 sevenths, which is a top-heavy fraction, but we can now subtract our 3 sevenths over there. Just quickly change our pen colour. So our 3 sevenths we're going to subtract. Now because the denominator is the same, we can just... Subtract from the numerator, so we've got 8 on the top, subtract the 3, and then subtract 3 is going to give us 5. Now because the denominators are the same underneath, it's going to be 5 over 7, they carry forward there. So there we go, we've uh, managed to work it out, we've got 5 over 7, or 5 7 so that's what the examiners will be looking for uh, from that question there. Okay, on to the next one. So in this third question, uh, you're going to need to think about the order which you do your calculations. So thinking about um, bod mass, and the first thing you're going to realise is that we've got a multiplication and we've got a subtraction. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to treat this as if it's in brackets here, because we've got a multiplication. So we're going to do this part first, and then we're going to do the subtraction afterwards. So first of all, let's do our 15 times 5, which is going to give us 75. Alternative way of doing that would be 5 times the 10 would give you 50, and then 5 times the units would give you 25. Again, they, uh, oh dear me, we've uh, gone forwards a couple of times there, haven't we? Uh, let's try that one again. Um, so, let's go back there. Sorry, my, my pen's set up in a slightly strange way. So we do our multiplication first. So, uh, as we were just saying, 15 times 5 is going to give us 75, which if you do 5 times the 10s is going to give you 50, and 5 times 5 is going to give you 25. If you add those together, 50 add 25 is going to give you the 75. So you can work it out either way. So now we've got, we know what 50 times 5 is. Now we need to calculate what 120 subtract 75 is. Now again, it's worth noting this is only a one mark question. So it's only asking you for the correct answer. It's not going to penalise you for using uh, an interesting method. So a couple of ways you could do this. Uh, you've got, we could take it back to 100. So we could take off 20 there of our 75. Um, which will leave us with our hundreds, and uh, we've taken off 20 off the 120, so we've got to take 20 off that 75 of fairness as well. So we end up with um, 50 subtract 100 subtract 55. Now you can either do that in your heads, or you can do 100 subtract 50, which will take us down to 50, 
which leaves us with 5 left over, so we took away 50 there, and we've got 50 to subtract 5, which is going to take us to 45. So there you go, the examiners are just going to be looking for the correct answer in the box, because it's only a one mark question. Okay, let's have a look at question number 4. So for question number 4, um, this one asks you to show your method, and if you notice over here, um, it's giving you two marks for this question. Um, so this question is going to be looking for the correct way of doing long multiplication, pardon me, and it's also going to be looking for the correct answer as well. So my suggestion here would be take your time, um, I'm going to do each of the layers uh, in a different colour, so what we'll do is we'll do, the, um, we'll do the units first. So again we're going to do 5 times 6, which you know is 30, so pop your 3 there, so you know it's going to be 3 tenths. 5 times 7 is going to be 35, and the 3 is going to be 38. 5 times 300, or 5 times 3 is going to be 15, and the 3 is going to be 18, so we've got 1,000, or 18 there, 800. And lastly, 5 times 2 is 10, and the 1 is going to give you 11, so it's 1 in the tens of thousands, and 1 there, which we can just carry over. So 5 times 2,376 is going to give us 11,880. And just so we know that, I'm just going to circle that so we know that was our red numbers. Now I'll quickly change our colour pen colour here, so we're going on to blue. Now we're going to move on to our 10. So bear in mind, we're multiplying by 10. So we're going to begin with um, a 0 in the units, because anything multiplied by 10 will always give you a 0 in the units. And then, because it's 1 times everything, this one's quite simple, it's just 1 times 6, 1 times 7, Remember, it's all multiplied up by 10, so actually it's 10 times 3, would be 300, is going to give us 3,000, and 10 times 2,000 is going to give us 20,000, so our 20 goes in there. And lastly, uh, you've multiplied by your 10s, you've multiplied by your units, now you need to add them up. So 0 add 0 is going to give us 0, 8 add 6 is going to give us 14, 8 add 7 is 15, add 1 is 16, uh, 1 add 3 is 4, add that 1 is going to give us 5, and 1 add 2 is going to give us a 3 there. So there we go, so our finished answer is 35,640, which we're going to pop down into our box there. The examiner won't penalise you for using commas or not, uh, they'll be looking for the correct answer there, and they'll be looking for a valid long multiplication method there as well. If you do make a mistake, they're not going to penalise you for reusing the rest of the squared space, but they have given you squares, so they'll be expecting you to use long multiplication in that example there. Okay, we'll just look at one more example for um, this one, for the arithmetic. And here we go. So, um, just like we did in the previous one, again it says show your method, and we look at the marks, it's giving you two marks, so it's expecting you to show uh, the bus stop method and uh, a valid way of doing long division. So for this one, um, I'm just going to go for a single pane colour there. Okay, so for this one, uh, there's various ways you can do this. Uh, one of the ways you can do it is you can do um, multiples of 28 and subtract those underneath and just keep track of how much you've subtracted each time. Now my preferred way here uh, is to count up in 28s. So you do 28s into, into the 1, they're going to go 0, so not going to mark that. 28s into 16 can't go, so that the 16 is going to carry over to be 165. So each time you do that, you always carry it down. So we're saying to 16, 28 and 16 doesn't go, so we carry down all those, 165. Now, multiplying by uh, 28, um, we could do 5 times 28. So 5 times 28 would be 5 times the 20 gives you 100. 5 times uh, the 8 would give you uh, 40, so we're saying we've got 140. Now, I've got 140 there. Remember, we're subtracting that. So that's going to leave you with... Uh, 25 there. So because we were able to do uh, five lots of that, so it's always good to keep track of how many times as you're going down. So we're going to end up with five there. So it's going to be 50 something. Now we've got, uh, we have 25 remaining. So now we're going to carry the two down for the next one. So we've got 28 into 252. So again, we'll be going to be thinking about how much can we subtract each time. Uh, so again, we know that uh, 5 times 28 is 140, um, so we could do that again. And so we're going to subtract 140 from there again, making note that we are, it's 5 times we've done that, which is going to take us down to 100. Uh, 5 subtract 4 is going to take us down to 10, and 2 subtract 0 is going to take us to 2. So we've um, subtracted 5 lots of 28, I've uh, got 112 left over. Uh, now, if we did 5 again, it's going to be too much, so we can't subtract 140. So in that case, let's take it down by 1. And actually, uh, 4 times 28, so 4 times 20 is going to give us 80. 
Four times, uh, so it's always good to keep track of this, so four times our 20 is going to give us 80. Uh, four times the 8 is going to give us uh, 32, and if we add those together, that will give us 112, which is our answer. So we know if we subtracted uh, 112 there, which would be four lots, uh, that's going to leave us with zero. Um, so we've, we've, for this, uh, for the units at the end, we've ended up um, subtracting five, uh, four more lots of 28, so 5 out of 4 is 9, uh, that gives us the answer of 59 there. We show we're using the bus stop, um, you're subtracting certain amounts of um, your uh, divisor here underneath, and you're just moving the one square, so always line it up with the one that it's relevant to. So there we go, so the examiner will be looking for a valid bus stop method there, and they'll be looking for the answer in the box there. Um, so there we go guys. Um, I'm going to stop there just this um, video. I hope that was helpful. And um, those are five examples of uh, the sample questions um, which the government has provided as examples of the 2016 uh, Year 6 SAT paper. Um, they can all be, also be used, especially for the current Year 5, so will be, uh, need to be trained up in this as they're going forwards uh, up into Year 6. So I hope you found that useful. Um, as always, uh, if you did enjoy the video, then why not uh, like it and share it with your friends or your teachers. Um, and there'll be more videos coming out on the channel for the maths uh, and in the future I'll also be um, releasing some uh, spelling and grammar, some spag videos uh, which will lead you through examples of uh, what you, uh, you can expect in the uh, Year 6 Sats. Uh, but thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.